for Tramp. They're very talented <laughs> and easy. Uh, Jeannie Francis. And Jeannie Francis. I love Elvis and I'm glad to have this scarf. Soap opera fans have to remember our next guest. She was Laura Baldwin on the wildly popular General Hospital. Land, and their wedding in November of 1981 remains the most watched daytime drama event in the history of television. Well, soap fans, guess what? You'll be delighted to know that the one-dime daytime princess has now joined the cast of All My Children, and she's here to tell us all about it. Will you please welcome Jeannie Francis? <laughs> doing my homework on you uh, last night, and I didn't... You were a baby when you started out in oh, soaps. yes, I was. I was 14 years old. 14? Mm -hmm. And you got him because your dad was in soaps and also a, a radio actor. And my father was an actor for 40 years. Right. And uh, when, I, when I got my braces off when I was 13, I said I wanted to be an actress, and they sent me out on an interview thinking it would scare me and I would give it up, and I won, and, and then the rest is history. Now, when you went into General Hospital, they had no idea that you were going to become so prominent in the show, did they? Or no. did they write that in for you? They wrote it in. What, when I first came on the show, we were 45 minutes long. The show was in a lot of trouble. We were about to be canceled. Gloria Monty came on, and it was really her vision. She, she was the writer, producer? She was the producer, right. and she wanted to change daytime, and she did. And her How? strategy was that she wanted to catch the young audience. So she focused in on a real live teenager, me at the time, and built a story around me so that she could get young kids interested in the show, because our time slot was three to four. And that, that's exactly what happened, right? Yes, young it people happened, started to yes. watch. Yeah. You became so huge. I remember, even I, who never stay home to watch daytime in those days, I was always running with Melissa and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was aware that you were getting married. I was aware there was a <laughs> wedding going on. And you were every magazine. I know. How old were you when all this was going on? It started when I was about 16, oh. and it escalated uh, to a peak when I was 19. Did you have any problems? Oh. It's very young for a young girl to be so popular. Very, very young. It, it was a very uh, a bittersweet, it's a bittersweet memory for me. You know, I'm certainly very proud of the accomplishments that I made, but I tell you, I was about as ready for the celebrity that was hoisted upon me as I was to fly to the moon. Um, before I started working, when I was 14 years old, I was in school. I was a very shy child with a very low self-esteem. I had a lot of problems as a kid. And all of a sudden, I went from, you know, a very, we were not a well-off family, and my father was a struggling actor, to in two years being so popular and surpassing my father's success and income. How did you deal with that? Uh, well, I didn't deal with it yeah. very well. You know, um, I think what a lot of people don't understand about me, most people, I've been asked so many times, why did you leave General Hospital? Why, yes, and of course, I'm going to say, why did you leave the height of all Because, I know, everybody. And for years, you've heard me say, oh, I was tired, and I've smoothed over that question. And I, last night, I made a decision that I really wanted to talk about the truth of what was going on. And uh, the truth of the matter is that I was really on the verge of having a total emotional breakdown. At 19? Yeah, at 19. <laughs> yes, it was a very painful time. The separating from General Hospital, leaving that show, was the most painful thing I have ever done in my life. There's never been a more painful separation. Um, and How did you know you were on the verge? Oh, well, it, it wasn't hard to tell. I mean, I was <laughs> sobbing and late to work and, uh, you know, I was I would go out to my car at the end of the night and just sit in the car and cry. And I wanted to be a grown-up. You know, I wanted to be accepted as a grown-up. But the, the adults on the cast didn't really let me join in. And I was separated from my peer group. I didn't go to school. So I was all alone. But see, I also was sort of born with this feeling of terrible loneliness. It's just part of who I am. I believe it's part of what makes me a good actress. Um, but at 18 and 19, I couldn't deal with that and all the the success that was being tossed to it at me. 
So really, um, I left the show because I was in trouble and I needed to put my life back together again. Now most people have s feel that I left because I thought I was so hot that I had to go become hotter. Right. And uh, because I was too yeah. embarrassed to talk about this. I was too embarrassed to admit that I was having all of these problems. Did you go for any kind of help? Oh, please. 